Alright. Hey, how you going? It's Rogan Josh. It is Tuesday night. It's stream night. And we're playing Anthem. Because I love it. So let's get into it. Oh my gosh. How has everyone been? What have you been doing this week? Let me grab this controller. I'm still going back and forth between green screen and camera, figuring out what I want to do. But because I'm currently not using the green screen for my YouTube reaction videos, I've decided to, for the moment, uh, stick with no green screen for the streams and have it just like this. All right, now let me quickly pop out of here while I get all my other stuff ready. There's Discord. I don't know if Soul is going to be joining me tonight. If not, I'll just be doing random uh, missions or whatever and trying to get new gear. But I'm going to jump into the Raptor Mountain Discord, link down below in the description. And I'm just quickly jumping into the Anthem Freelancers voice chat. And if Soul jumps in at any point, we'll hear his beautiful voice. All right. What a massive week. Where's this controller at? Oh, getting everything ready. I'm basically a hundred percent standing desk now. So for the last two or three weeks, I've been using the standing desk uh, more and more. And now I pretty much only use it. I also have a brand new uh, video gameplay video up on my YouTube. I usually do music reaction videos. But last night, uh, instead of streaming, I sat down and played a game. I played uh, Mist Survival on Steam and recorded it instead of streaming it and then did a big edit and uploaded a Let's Play for the first time. So that was uh, a lot of work, but I'm really proud of it. And um, it's going pretty, pretty well. So my YouTube link is down below if you want to go and check that out. Oh, this Colossus looks insane, doesn't it? But I'm not playing Colossus. I want to wait to for some more Ranger stuff to come in. I don't want to spend money on that yet. Now, last week there was a huge problem with the update. Welcome to my store. Browse away. Did I already get? I don't think I did. I like you. Razor Wing. All right, let's see. Razor Wing, Vass's Surprise, Explosive Blaze. Let's see if I got this stuff or not. To the Forge. All right. Oh, I've got Explosive Blaze, so I predict that I would have Razor Wing. There it is. I just didn't get a chance to use it. A Blade, and there's Vass's Surprise. All right, so it looks like we're waiting for 9.30 for reset before we get anything new. Well, let's get out there. Plenty of ways to make a statement here. And kill some stuff. As a rad death metal robot. Who doesn't want to do that? It's my question. Um, is there No, oh, there's no zoom. Alright. So yeah, I am truly in endgame. There's never any regular yellow stuff in here anymore. All right, let's get out of there and use this new stuff. Quick play, random mission. Uh, easy, uh, no, 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 no. GM1, methinks. Let's go. Oh, crazy week. I also found a new company for protein and pre-workout, uh, White Wolf from New South Wales. They do all natural protein and uh, pre-workout. And um, hey, how you going Mariah, Qu Mariah Carey 12? How's your week been? What's going on? What's new with you? Oh, yeah, so White Wolf protein and uh, energy from New South Wales, all natural. Um, I found out I was getting mad inflammation, change difficulty. 
Couldn't find an expedition. Should I try to jump into someone's GM3? <laughs> Let's try to jump into someone's GM3, shall we? Let's go. And yeah, uh, I realized that almost everything that I ate in the day had the artificial sweetener sucralose. And uh, that causes inflammation. Hey, Shane, how you doing, man? So yeah, I gave up everything that has sucralose sweetener. Uh, I've gone to either just no sugar or no sweetener or stevia, a natural sweetener, if there is any. And that is what is in the White Wolf supplements that I'm now taking. And I feel great. Oh yeah, that came out today, man. How's that going? Okay, so there's nothing for Grandmaster 3, nothing for Grandmaster 1. Just made your own team, nice. What, uh, what time did you get that today? Nothing interesting listening to Evanescence's new song, excuse me? What's the new Evanescence song called? I need a song for a reaction tomorrow. <laughs> Carlton Motors. Got it about 12.30. Have you, have you been uh, smashing that non-stop on the Xbox? Your Xbox probably got steam coming out of it, buddy. What's this new Evanescence song? I put up a photo on my Instagram earlier of my... Uh, the game is over. All right, I'm going to add it to my list right now. Yeah, put up a photo of my stream setup because it's a standing stream setup, which is kind of unique. And uh, the photo is going well. Let's do a hard one. Why not? Help someone else out. The game is over. When did that come out? Mariah Carey, do I call you Mariah Carey? What can I call you? The game is over. Official music video. Save. All right. Unless I really desperately want to hear a ginger song tomorrow, it's going to be Evanescence. That's awesome. Just started playing it now. Oh, it was installing. I lay down, watch YouTube, fell asleep not long ago. That sounds like a dream. I put out a new uh, Let's Play video, which is something I haven't really done before. Where I recorded gameplay, edited it down. That's it. Got the data we need. Ah, I took someone with real drive to... Oh, crud. Sumner, what's happening? holding X, which is guns. So when it's not stream night, I am playing Destiny, not uh, Anthem. And I've just recently, two weeks ago, switched to controller because it's better for my back, easier to stand, better for my wrists using a controller. So I'm uh, learning the controls and getting used to it all. You should stream two nights. The game sounds a bit loud. Thanks, man. Doing it again. Right. Leave it to me and fix that relic. So yeah, I turned the uh, audio up for um, my reaction videos because I realized it was quite a bit quiet, the music in my reactions. See you later. Work down here. You got yours? No time to waste. We Guys, we just wrecked the these. I'm on fire. Perfect, thanks. Yeah. It's louder than you. It's only loud when you shot. Is it much better now? I just turned it down. Yeah, 
yeah, when I'm doing my, re oh, all good now, sweet. When I do my reaction videos, I realize that because you don't like, like you just saw, you don't want the gameplay too loud because you won't be able to hear me. But in a reaction video, if the music isn't loud enough, then you don't get a feel for it. So I was watching back a few of my old videos and I was like, oh, the music's pretty quiet. So now I'm turning it up on those. God, I look sick. Look at that armor. I hope both of them are looking at my armor going, whoa. That's what it's all about. What's this masterwork? Avenging Herald. It's a storm gun. It's all about the hovering. Alright, for salvage. I don't really want any level 38 stuff, so. Did you see the gear for Storm? Yeah, oh dude, yes I did. It's the uh, the Storm version of what I'm wearing at the moment. It's sick. Let's play another mission. And it's possible that Soul Hinder's gonna jump in any second. Uh, let me just see if he's in there now. In the Raptor Mountain. Nope. I oh, don't know, Destiny Down Under's post and stuff. Good dudes. Alright. Can I get into a random stronghold on GM1? Anybody? Let's have a quick check. So, hey dude, sounds good. Just doing random missions for now. I think Storm is stronger than Ranger. They both have positives and negatives. It's the beauty of the game. They're all good in their own way. The way that I play, I think the Ranger just suits. Straight up. I just think the Ranger suits how I play. <laughs> Ranger and Storm, yeah. I really liked Colossus for a long time. Colossus was my thing. But then at some point, I was just like, no. Nah. And when I say at some point, I know exactly when it was. You're too late. You look taller. New shoes. It has been remade by the Anthem. Probably something to do with that crap he's hooked up to the cenotaph. It's not over. He's still moral. Right? He's still moral? Yes. Let's finish this. Alright, surely this is far enough back. Look at my health bar, are you kidding me? Come on, shield. I need assistance. Down. I always get done on this guy. His first attack. Don't know how to dodge it. Thanks for the respawn, buddy. I should play a bit more Anthem on PC. It is fun. Wish they had more stuff to do on Anthem. Well, that's the uh, that's the wall that I am gonna hit at some point soon, I think, because I'm now on the the gear chase to try to get to the max gear level. There he is. Has he got me again? You're kidding me. Alright, shield's coming back. I don't know why he didn't come back the first time. Right, that's just super him. That did not do as much as I would have liked him. Activated 
again. Find him, freelancer. Oh, my health is all the way down again. Need some help. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do in that thing. I thought I got far enough away. Uh, that's why I might be playing lots of F1 2020. Nice. Ah, look at this. He's repairing me this time. Dude. The guns I'm testing may not be... Do you like racing games? Not really. I used to. I've gone through phases of really liking some racing games. Is he changing the storm? The heart of rage is connected to the cenotaph. And now... The monitor. But, um, overall, I don't know. I'm trying to think of the last racing game I got heaps into. Because in the past, there's been racing games that I've been addicted to. Gran Turismo, Burnout, when it first came out. I'm talking Gran Turismo uh, 3 on PS2. thing connects, it does some real big boy damage. The problem is the first part of the sentence. It doesn't seem to be connecting as much as I'd like. There's the gun I want. He doesn't have full control. The Senator activated him to another location. I get my shield back. Oh, how's your acid froze? Impeccable, apparently. Where's the dude that's supposed to be on my team? Ah, follow me. There you go. Good on you, buddy. Wish more people played Anthem on Xbox. I uh, like watching them. I'd probably prefer playing a racing game to watching it. the second I hit the ground. Wish I had more people play on Xbox and more people play with you. I get that. Well, I did play most of the game solo. Soul kind of came in was the end from memory. It is more fun playing with a friend though. Oh, both good and bad, both ways. Solo, you can just mess about and chill. I like open world stuff. But yeah, man, definitely go back, go and have a look at my YouTube at the um the Let's Play. Go on your team's colors are ugly. Yeah, when a white and a cy like a cyan? No, that's blue. Magenta, pinky purple.
Look at us. Got the skin you got for the storm. All brown, a little bit of bright, black. But it's look all brown to fix my gear I put on. Sweet. You know what? I think the colors on the dude on my team were fine. Whatever he likes. He probably looked at my dude and thought I looked ridiculous. Those are some bright colors though. I definitely am the odd one out on this team. Let's get back to Tarsus. Let's have a look. Look, yours looks the best, thank you. I think so too, but... Each freelancer to their own, I guess. Alright. Look at this beast. Just rocking out. Oh. Here's me thinking, alright, the store's probably updated. Nope, another hour. All right, let's get out there. Uh, hmm. Change mission. What have I got? What have I got here? Let's get to this. Let's do this on GM1. Let's go. Yeah, man. Hopefully the store's good this week. I'm mostly excited about the uh, new legendaries. Those skull shoulders are so good. How beastie does that look? My god. Yeah, how's everyone's week going? What have you been up to? What are you doing lately? What music are you listening to? How's your sports team going? Is your team playing? Because uh, in Australia, AFL is playing, but it's uh, a mess. Only got it on the storm. It'll come around. It'll come around again. Yeah, in Australia, all of the teams in Melbourne. I, I Well, I won't talk about who won and lost, because my team lost as well, and we are bottom of the bottom. But um, in Melbourne, in Australia, we have the, the most cases there. So they're going back into lockdown. So all the sports teams for the state, which is the state with the most sports teams, are all moving to other states for the rest of the season. And uh, they're calling them moving to hubs, player hubs, in New South Wales and Queensland. So it's a very strange season. We had one player test positive so far um, in one team. So then the game has been postponed. They haven't actually played that game yet. Crazy. But they're still playing it. So I know that there's a lot of sport not happening in America. Come watch Australian rules footy. It's the best. I love it. Yeah, new uh, Nightwish reaction went up today. Finally heard a recorded song with Floor. Uh, went and listened to her debut single for the band called Elan. That was crazy. Uh, let me change those go, guns. I'm not digging my weapons at the moment. Let's get over there. Okay, I'm on it. What have I got? Death from above. The Vault Caster is very nice. I don't like Blade Slingers very much. This is my favorite gun. This is my favorite gun. All right. Less power level, but the gun is worth it. Let's go. Oh, this game is pretty. Oh. Yeah, I've had a... 
amazing seven months of playing Anthem, but I do feel that we may be getting close to the end. So once I get to that max score level, I just don't know what's gonna hold the interest. Come on. I thought the whole idea was the rolls got you out of danger. Yes, yeah, so I've been playing it for this whole year. Started in January. So it's been, uh, I had a month off as well, so I guess it's six months of playing. I took March off to play They're Division to 2. Protect those Arcanists while they work. Not it. Whoa, that guy is wrecking me. You. When it is like one on one combat or small groups, I'm way better with controller. When it's big packs, you just want to swing the mouse around. Super is ready. Uh huh. Yeah, so the Let's Play video that I just put up on YouTube is uh, for a Steam game called Mist Survival, open world zombie survival game. So I have always been, since 28 Days Later came out, incredibly scared of zombies. Um, it was like a real, real serious phobia, phobia for quite a while. It's calmed down as of late, but now I've just played a zombie game. And of course, it's I'm feeling it again a fair bit. I gotta repair generators. Whoops. God, my suit looks good. This game needs PvP. Straight up, it just needs PvP. I'm normally not a PvP guy, but uh, in Destiny lately, I've been enjoying it a lot. there and help those sentinels go over to stay in here while this is uploading, right? Let's just do a big old big old shot. Yeah, it was interesting doing a let's play, so I just played games last night by myself talking and just hit record instead of uh, streaming and then stayed up way too late editing and came out with uh, 40 minutes let's play the first hour and a half ish of Miss Survival. Zombies and all. I loved it. Video came out great, uploaded it today. Stay alert, my friend. In the editing process, I learned that while you're playing, when you're recording a Let's Play, you gotta just talk. You gotta just say everything you're doing as you're doing it. <laughs> Makes it a lot easier to talk. You just kind of edit between your voice track. 
So if there's something exciting happen, happening, we've got to be talking. Oh. This is why you're needed. I see. And I wish I had my big old special right about now. when you got this light machine gun, eh? Leave the ruins gladly after that. So this is GM1, so the fact that I just took them both down that quickly tells me I may be ready for GM2. Oh, now my special's ready, and that's super handy. I need you to look into day. reports of a missing freelancer lost in a bad area. Take a look. Okay, I'm on it. I almost, almost pulled the trigger on an Xbox One X. This Telstra deal is just too good at the moment. 34 bucks a month on a two year contract. You get an Xbox One X. With Game Pass. So you just get an Xbox One X with all the games. 34 bucks a month, two years. And the first three months are free. Like, that's... Okay, see crazy. If, if I hadn't upgraded my PC, I'd do it I'll for sure. I'm so glad that I got my money back on my PS4 Pro. Because in the end, I only got it to uh, to hang out with my Destiny clan. And then half the guys moved to PC and the other half stopped playing. So uh, getting the money back that I paid for it really made me feel good about that is being able to play with those guys and streaming on PS4 was a lot of fun, I must say. I did stream on PS4 for all of 2019. And loved it. I think the most surprising thing about streaming from PS4 was the uh, inbuilt chroma features. Yes, I threw the grenade at a pillar. Let's just not talk about it. Ah, you up there, you're the one causing me all this grief. Oh! Finished. This freelancer could not complete their contract. We will honor that instead. Guys, the pipe's not over yet. Can't let them get away, okay? I won't let him get away. Oh wait, eliminate scars if there's just one I need to eliminate? Which one? Is there a marked one somewhere? Oh, I'm always dead. When did this happen? Shield would be nice right about now. 
Oh, you can shoot out of the shield bubble. I just sit in here like an idiot. Health. Shebang. What do you mean, ignoring the bad guys? Oh wait, I see a gold spot. Where do you go? Oh, the dude on my team. Any scars left? Yep. So for anyone that watches or has seen me before, what do you prefer? This or green screen? Because uh, it's uh, something I'm kind of wrestling with. Because if I do decide to go with the green screen, I'm going to invest in an Elgato high quality green screen. Because I want to do it right. a huge contract. Just keep going. Let's go to Nick's game too. I'm guessing the Nick started a new game. Wanted to go through that story again. That is something I've considered is playing on Xbox and going through again and playing the story correctly with all the side missions. Because I didn't the first time. Look at that scene called God that looks amazing. Search around. But, I'd want an Xbox One X if I did that. I wouldn't want to do that for my standard Xbox. Can we start a picture? Where is this guy I'm looking for? Uh huh. Wait, I got something here. What do you think? Sometimes the lushness of this game can be a problem. It's hard to see the things you're looking for. But sometimes it is stunning. Stunning? Stunning, Soul Hinder. Stunning. Welcome to the stream, buddy. Have you been? You are very quiet. How about now? That is better. Kind of hot. Very chill. Look out! Another of those beasts has come to play. There's the other one. That's a super the hell out of this thing. Eat it. Dude, I absolutely loved your video today. Oh, oh really? Yeah, I think I think it's really cool. Um, I do have like a couple like critiques for it. Oh, One, please, please, I need them. Um, I think I think the video was a bit too long. Like you probably could have. I, I'm guessing you condensed a lot of it. Yeah, it was about an hour and a half. And I got it down to 40 minutes. You could probably uh, condense it even more. Like take out anything you think might be even remotely like uninteresting to watch. Obviously, it's it's hard to to get rid of all those parts. Like obviously, you can't get rid of you like walking around discovering stuff like that sort of stuff you can yeah you have to keep in <sighs> yep it's it's hard it's hard it's a it's yeah. my critique but i know it's like hard to yeah no no, no it's good feedback it's good feedback i want as much um, feedback as i can get i think instead of like cutting more just make two videos like make like a part yep. one and part two sort of thing um, yeah i can't i kind of put that in the group in the game chat said i've done this game you know this let's play do I put it as one giant thing or two videos as episodes? No one really said anything. And then as I finished the editing, like it had a start and an end because I meant for it to be one thing. And I was just like, it's a bit of an experiment. 
I'd rather just make it one. I don't want someone to find the second one and not know what's going on. Yeah, because yeah, the thing was, that my original idea was to play for 20 minutes and then just upload it. But nothing happened in the first 20 minutes. Like, can you imagine if that video ended with me getting to the first house and finding a knife? Yeah. Like, that was the first 20 minutes. So I just kept it'd be, going. It'd be funny though. You could title, you could have a lot of fun with the video titles. Be like, type for 20 minutes and found a knife. Like you could just That's get true. really creative. <laughs> that is true. Um, but like a game like that's very hard to make videos on. Because mm. um, there are a lot of points where you're not doing a whole lot. Yeah. Uh, another example is like games like uh, uh, Forest. Like, Forest is one of those games where, when I played it, I was scared every second. Like, I returned it. Games you're like, returned it. I was too scared to play it, and I had to return yeah, the Forest. Yeah, see? It was, it is a terror, if, if, if anyone like asks, oh, what, what's your favorite, like, Horror Survival, I have to say Forest. I, I also stopped playing it because I was too scared, and I like my horror game. Have we spoken about um, this, about how it's actually got a really crazy deep story? Yeah, yeah, and because I stopped before I sort of got into the story. Yeah, I just need to quickly talk to a few people. Anil, love you, buddy. Good to see you. Uh, how's Grind going? Champions of Tarsus. We're at level 30. We're just trying to get to that max item level. But yeah, man. Uh, sorry, so you, you stopped just before the story kicked in? Uh, basically, I got to a point where I all I really did was focus on my little base. Like I had a little, little hut yeah. um, on top of a hill. And I just surrounded it with like log spice, which took like hours of like chopping down trees. Yeah. And then I got to a point where uh, like these these monsters were coming by my house, and I thought, yeah, no, nah, f this, I'm I'm done. Like I was too scared. <laughs> yeah. But the times I really packed my pants was um <laughs> packed my pants. Packed my pants. Was Fantastic. when <laughs> was when I got like killed the first time, and they dragged me into a cave. All right. And, like, I turn my brightness all the way up. I'm like, yeah, enough. Like, screw this. Yeah, man. Like, I made my way through. Very, I was low health the entire time. After I got out, like, got back to my base and built it up, like I said. And um, and that's when the monsters started coming. I thought, yeah, I'm done with this game. Cause yeah. This is, this is too scary for me. Yeah, my fear of zombies. Uh, hey, golden cheeseburger. Uh, my fear of zombies does go to cannibals as well. Um, I oh, basically, nice. yeah. I don't want to get eaten. That's basically <laughs> it. I don't want to get eaten alive. That's that's your actual fear. Is yeah. Just avoiding being eaten by I've, Oh, things. dude, major fear of zombies. I just put a video up on my YouTube today. Um, Kena, uh, what was it called? Kena Mortophobia? The same fear? Yeah. All right, dude. Um, Golden Cheeseburger. Down in my uh, description on my Twitch page, there's a link to my YouTube. I put a video out today where I played a zombie game and it was called playing a zombie game with a phobia of zombies and i talk a lot about my phobia of zombies while i'm playing um go check that out because i'm pretty proud of it but yes definitely think i'll do more things like that i think it's a good idea um should we do a legendary mission oh sure i'm just sort of buying stuff at the moment okay i've got no crystals i thought i had more crystals i'll put us at gm2 yeah, give GM2 a okay. Let's try it. What? That Colossus armor looks sick. Oh, dude, how good is it? There's a Storm armor there. Oh, wait, you don't play yeah. Storm. I do play Storm. Oh, nice. It's, it's all play. Um, oh, and Interceptor, of course, but I'm, I'm, I don't enjoy playing Interceptor. That's the fun. I like the way it looks. I like the feminine figure of, of the Interceptor. Yeah. But I'm not a fan of the actual, like, unit. Mm. All right. let me know when you are ready to ready up you can play zombie games easy shane all right so my fear started when 28 days later came out me and a group of friends went and saw the launch uh at the local like marion cinemas which is in a shopping center and it was a midnight launch so a the movie terrified me uh, it was the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. It made the idea of a zombie outbreak real because it's a scientific reason. Like it's a disease that escaped from a lab, much like coronavirus just did. Um, and then when we left the cinema, the shopping mall was empty because it was the middle of the night. And something about, like when I walked out of there, if we just watched it during the day, I don't think I would have had the fear like I've got it. 
walking out of that movie being so terrified and walking into a empty shopping center in the middle of the night and just waiting for a hundred zombies to run around a corner at me full corner uh, like full pelt it just then for years i was terrified every time i entered a room i would look around and be like all right there's entry point there's exit point what would i use to defend myself like uh, it's the first thing i thought of in whenever i entered a house i'd be like all right where's the entry points that they could come in where would i exit what it's you know plan a b and c oh for years and years and years i had that um and then i just stopped doing anything to do with zombies because i used to watch walking dead and play games with zombies left for dead and stuff so i'd stopped all of that and uh and then i just grew up i guess realized that there are scarier things that are real <laughs> yeah sharks. sharks for one so are you ready buddy we're gonna get out of there i'm ready but oh the nice. guy just took a long time to register nice um let's go <laughs> Yeah, what what you what you do what you did was like essentially create a contingency plan for being in a room. Yes. Like every time you walked in a room, you, you created a contingency. Yeah, I was um, working at a department store at the time, and I had my escape routes. I was just always <laughs> waiting. Like my my counter was at the back of the shopping center, so I would just daydream about you know hearing screams at the front at the entrance, looking up, seeing them all charging in, being like, all right. I know my way out. I'm going to climb up yeah, this yeah. thing of shelves, get into the roof here. O'Neill, scared of sna sharks are cute. Okay. <laughs> this guy. This guy here saw snakes. I killed a snake at schoolies with a shovel. <laughs> it went into wow. someone's tent. We were uh, staying on a block of land. Yeah, I was drunk. I don't really drink anymore because when I used to drink, I used to do stupid things. Like taking on snakes with a shovel for example while drunk what about hornets we don't have those in australia we've got wasps i guess they're not nice i'm not i'm not we have hornets in australia do we yeah but yeah we've got very large wasps in wa that's for sure i was i was about to say wa is yeah. a wa to australia is what texas is to america it's a whole different world it's a lot of lots of, a lot of sand here yeah murder hornets in uk wow. that's so funny apparently australian hornets are in every state except south australia man i was about to say i've never heard <laughs> anyone say there's a hornet yeah that's hilarious they're just really big wasps just and like they seem they seem pretty Don't chill no okay uh, i don't think i've ever had a negative encounter with them all right man this is gm2 so we Shall might have we? to Owen, do you want to oh i got the, the new gun as well oh yeah it's pretty cool hey yeah, it's like a launcher of some kind. Blade launcher. Oh, I got it. I've got it equipped right now as well. Oh my god, oh, these things take a few of them. I overheated. GM2 wildlife. Yeah. Also, how's that? Michael's in the chat again. I, th I thought he like. I don't think he came back. In the uh, Facebook Messenger chat. Yeah, in the Bro Lords chat. It's oh, so dude. Weird. Like, oh, yes. I didn't realize he was back. That makes me so happy. Yeah, like, I was like, oh, wow, Michael's here. I wonder how long he's been in the chat. That's all I'm I didn't know, but I'm uh, I'm super excited to go in there. I just know that he, I've, uh, you know, seen him on Discord a few times. Yeah. He, he came to the stream as well. Uh, a couple yeah. of times back. That's yeah. Like, that's the one I wasn't on, unfortunately. Yeah, I saw the ulti pop up. Got excited. We got wasps and hornets. How is this game better now? This game is beautiful, doesn't crash, has all of the content is out. So if you're going to start it, start it now. I mean, as far as additional content, it doesn't have much from the original, but it does have like additional guns and Yeah. It's definitely way more stable than it other than that, it's not much different to what it is in terms of... I forgot we were on GM2, I almost just got killed by one dude. I'm trying to work out where the hell I'm going. I don't know if you're ahead or behind. Probably ahead. Um, I'm just trying to find the entrance to this place. Oh, I think I found it. You have to go like all the way around then. Okay, did you go around to the left? 
Yeah, yeah, so okay. keep going all the way around. Follow the Sweet. Side. Yeah. So you're, you're cool. Is PS4 version still killing console? I don't know. I don't, I don't think know. it is. Um, although, don't take my word for it because I have not yeah. been following the Anthem. I played it once and I played the intro. And if you have the skills to find that on YouTube, uh, I'll be very impressed because that was actually my first Rogue and Josh video, but I did it on a different channel and I've only just realized that it's still on YouTube. I just, I didn't want to stream to Twitch that day, so I streamed to YouTube to test it for the PlayStation. I didn't have a channel yet, so it's to one of my personal channels. And I've just realized that that would still be out there. Go on PS4, it's all right. Oh, dude, O'Neill knows. Yeah, I imagine it's not very good on PS4, you know, like less frame rate and all that stuff. <sighs> yes and no. Almost yes. impossible to play on console now. I say yes and no. I think there's something about the feel of console games in comparison to PC games that is. It's just a smaller controller. That's all yeah. Say. Like, I do like playing games like this with a controller. Anything yes. that requires even a remote amount of precision. You bet your butt on me on this and people. Yeah. Yeah, so one of the things that was really tricky with my uh, my Let's Play video was maintaining a story so that people that were watching knew where I was, if you know what I mean. So you could watch yeah. it and be like, okay, yep, I know where you are, I know where you've come from, you should turn left, or you should, like, you know, so that they would know. Because one of uh, our one of the anthem videos that I edited and put up uh, is my most disliked video on YouTube for two reasons. One, because people find it fun to dislike anthem videos, but number two is because my editing was just all over the place. Yeah. So I really tried to have consistency and a story that people could follow in that last one, which added a lot of time to it. Yeah, I will. I will admit, I wasn't 100 focused on the video when I was watching. So yeah. I was doing it in the background. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I did watch the majority of it, and I listened to 100 percent of it. Cool. Um, yeah, as far as that goes, like you did, like it was good. Like it, I guess compared to the Anthem one, definitely an improvement. Yeah, the Anthem one was tricky because it was a stream. Like yeah, it wasn't yeah. made for that. Whereas this one was a whole different beast. Like I recorded it. For, to edit and upload. Yeah, I I think I, I firmly believe you probably shouldn't as edit streams like you just upload to stream as it. Yeah. If anything, edit stuff you you may you may not want broadcast on YouTube. Like sensitive co uh, content. All right, so we're doing a puzzle here. Yeah. So that is obviously the top one because it's the only one that has the cross and I've got a cross. Here. Wait, no, that doesn't make any sense. We'll try the top one anyway. I was going to say, is it the two that aren't covered in mold? The middle two? Actually, that could be it. The only two that are... Yeah, so my theory is out the window, so it's definitely... Yeah, you can do the one on the yeah. left. Oh, dude, look how... This, this whole lighting in this room is so cool. The light coming through the roof, like shining into the javelin. I kind of want to play this game without a HUD. Yeah, that would be nice. You're in the presence we went on GM2, I probably would. Sorry? It's like Death. I said if we went on uh, Grandmaster 2, I would yeah. probably play without a HUD. Yeah. It's like on Destiny, when I play PvE, I usually turn off HUD. Especially when I'm doing PvE content. Because it just it feels really nice to play Destiny without a HUD. Yeah. Is it worth £8? Yeah, this game is worth £8 for sure. I've been playing it for seven months and I'm still not at the cap. The trick for me is I only play once a week. And it's uh, it's perfect for that. You are an OG at this game. When I get back on, it's like... My friends came on the chance to say hello. Last time I played was on release. Yeah, so if you... If you play this game on the release and didn't like it, um, if the reasons you didn't like it was because of the, uh, like the stability of the game and, and the content, um, then it's definitely an improvement now. But if it was, if you didn't like the game on launch for like the fundamental reasons, like fun playing, just how the game looked and how it felt, then you probably won't like it. Yeah, it hasn't changed on like a mechanical level. 
I only know it in the state that it's in this year. Yeah. And, you know. Yeah, it was. It was, it was dog shit on the launch. That's my two, two ways about it. Points wise, it was terrible. Like, low times were terrible. They improved the low times a bit. But after playing Witcher and then coming to the low times in this game, like, this game's low times even now is just unacceptable for a PC game. And maybe because, oh, no, uh, yeah, like, even so, like, I've got an SSD. Um, when fast traveling Witcher, it takes about, like, two or three seconds to fast travel, yeah. which is, it's almost jarring. Yeah. Um, so it's going to be interesting when Fear 5 comes out, you've got games that have, like, really short load times. Especially fast traveling. Oh, dude, I'm, I'm it's stuck. actual fast travel. Oh, I got wow, stuck in a corner. I'm down. I was, I was floating out of harm's way. I got completely really stuck in this corner. Really liking this blade gun, dude. I did like it initially. How's it going, Josh? Bad speller, how you doing, man? You have an incredible streaming voice, my friend. And we've got another uh, Anthem streamer in the chat, O'Neal. But bad speller, I was... Uh, Sorry, Josh, I'll get you as soon as this guy lets me alone. Yeah, it's all good, man. I'm just talking. Uh, dude just come in chat. He was in the stream last week uh, chatting. And then during the week, I jumped into one of his streams, and he is S tier streamer. S tier, blood. Dude, blood. he could be on radio. Like, the quality of his stream is incredible. And Bad Speller, is it you that just uses a um, Turtle Beach headset, but your audio is, is, you know. If you had said, I'm using a Sure set, like SM7B, I would have been like, yeah. So, who's. Who's the a t uh, S T uh, streamer? A bad speller. There he is. Uh, I'll give him a cheap follow. He's got a great voice, a great attitude, and his I stream see. is awesome. Because he he was streaming uh, at the same time that I was working from home, so I just had it going on my other monitor. He got me through the day. He streamed Destiny One, so that's instantly a turn on for me. <laughs> You should look around the room a bit. The clues we need might be nearby. Oh, I actually really like the style of these rooms. This would be an awesome level in Destiny. Oh, yeah, I just went straight. I solved the puzzle and then went past it. Hey man, direct off console streaming is how I did the last two years off Xbox and then PS4. No. Now the trick of this puzzle is you've got the left, uh, left one, so you just keep turning the right one until it solves. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, I'm trying to figure out if it's the one that's up over there. I didn't see which one it was. Yeah, man, that's big brain. To put it in your terms, I was sitting there staring the around like an idiot. Must be near the Try searching around. So this one's the square. But yeah, dude, Bad Speller, your like voice quality straight from console. It is from a 1X to be fair, but with a Turtle Beach headset, I, I was shocked. I was sure that you'd have uh, some sweet USB mic plugged in or something or running it. Um, my, my guess initially was that you'd be running an A40, Astro A40 through the um, mixing, the Astro mixing pack that comes with it. Because that's what Nick Merck's Uses. They marked her grave with her signet. I'll answer to the end. Hey, Golden Cheeseburger. Thank you very much. Thank you very much it for the follow. This really hurts. You know what this means? It could open the fortress of Dawn. Good dude. Bay, we have a complication. He's a cipher projection, a strong one. Hello again, Freelancer. Happy to see you. The story of this game was very good. Want? That's why you should play this game. It's probably Jeff. one of the I most... The what's the word I'm looking for? Why? Involved? Yeah, I have been Someone's with a game a story in a long, long time, if not at all. Want to get a pair of good Astros and run my audio through a mixer? I'll get there eventually. Uh, the last thing you need to improve is your audio. I think you should uh, kiss, go over to your headset right now, if you're not already wearing it, and kiss it and say, I love you. You're the best headset a streamer could have. Um, 
What should you update instead? I don't know, man. Get a stream PC. And a uh, capture card. What happens to the people of One of those kind of sounds like Samuel Hayden so from the Doom franchise. Just give me the javel from the what franchise? One. The Doom franchise, Dr. Samuel Hayden. Alright. I didn't get into the new Doom. I love the old... It was more, it was more prominent in the first one. Um, He's trying to trace the second location. one is in it, but uh, I'm not as much. Let's just say no, that this one... Get glitched. One of my favourites. Get glitched. Get glitched. Dude, we look sick. Oh, I forgot to put gold on my suit so we match. For now, I just enjoy the shock value. People assume I've got a quality mic. Capture card is in the mail. I'm saving up a good pre-built. Awesome, dude. What company are you going with for a pre-built? You are in America judging, or Canada judging from your accent. Oh, I just wasted my super. Sucks to be me. I don't know. Some bad guys popped out at the worst time for them. Is that a fury? Oh, bloomin' heck. What's up? We get bloomin' hex. Which capture card did you go with? Elgato? Oh god, okay. I see what you're bloomin' heckin' about. Uh, I think it's just this weird. I'm down. I didn't even know what got me. Your audio is a bit quiet again, so. How about now? That's much better. Yeah, it's because I'm talking quietly. Kind of far away from my. Uh, oh. Yeah, we're in trouble. Oh, I'll go to team mate. Yeah. So, I have yeah. to say, I'm having so much fun with Valorant. Like, oh, really? Yeah, I just play with my mate of mine, like, and I only have to play with him. Um, and you just jump to Spike Rush, which is like the, it's like Search and Destroy. I really, I mean, the whole, the, whole, yeah. the whole game is Search and Destroy, but yeah, yeah. this is like a shorter version of a, the main thing, and you get random weapons and stuff, everyone gets the same weapon, but it's like a, uh, one of the random weapons in the game. Yeah. And it's just so much fun, because it's short, and like, you, you chat, sometimes you chat with people, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you shit talk, sometimes you don't. A lot of fun. Yeah. You meet some very interesting people. <laughs> yeah. Is Valorant free? Yeah, it's free to play. It's uh, like Counter Strike. It's yeah. It's the easiest way to do it. I... Heroes. I'm completely assuming that it's not for me. Uh, probably not actually. Um, it's just a. It's hard to say. Like, I was never a fan of Counter Strike. I frankly hate that genre, but I'm loving Valorant, so that's kind of ironic. Yeah, I loved Team Fortress 2, but it's been a long time. Yeah, it's nothing like... Oh, I mean, it, it, it might have similarities to Team Fortress 2, because I also haven't played that game in a long, long, long time. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, it's... It's like a cross between Counter Strike and Overwatch. It's probably just like Yeah, I never played Overwatch either. Oh, it's so weird. Everyone's played Overwatch 2. Eh. Overwatch is another really good one that I... I love shit talking in. Um, yeah. It's like friendly shit talk rather than like toxic shit talk. But some people can't tell the difference, so yeah. Sometimes people might like lash back at you. Yeah. Be like, it's just t take it down, basically. Like, like, sure. We're all friends here. Just having some fun. <laughs> it's spike rush. Oh my god, I'm getting stomped. I've got a super, but I don't want to use it. Best thing about Storm is you have increased armor and whatnot when you're hovering. And it's not doing shit right now. Mm. NZXT? Yeah, man, I see a lot of NZXT PCs with big streamers. Capture card Elgato? Ah, oh, yeah, you got the Elgato HT60. Is that the inbuilt? Or an external? When, is, when I next upgrade my PC, I'm gonna get that. Like a case from that brand, the NXZT or whatever. Yeah, man, I love how squared off the edges are. Something yeah, about the look of those. Oh, and they're just like, like the shapes are just so cool. Well. Yeah. Like my case is very generic. It's like a Core cool Master, like white. And I, because when I first got my PC, I had no, I knew jack shit about PCs. I still do, but I know enough <laughs> to know that I should have got like a front vent with my PC case. Oh, okay. Um, I don't have anything super powerful. Like my CPU is 
decent. My grapple stuff is like mid range of that. Um, but I just get very, very concerned about my PC getting hot, even though like graphic cards do get hot. Like, yeah. Nothing you can really do about it. I am just so lucky I've got Dan from DB Custom PCs. Yeah, dude. I don't have to do anything. He, he so just knows it all. He's the life. best. I thought Dan would move to WA and Eric will be right now. <laughs> it's, way, it's way better here. Anyway. <laughs> I wanted an S Plus, but my current computer doesn't have enough. Take advantage of the 1080p, yeah. Both the S and the S Plus are external plug and play models, I see. This thing oh, another thing is, I have not played Destiny in like at all this week. Really? It's so weird. I, yeah, I haven't found down. any reason to play, to jump on and play. Like, Crucible's a. I'm. I hate to say this, but I'm not I'm not happy with this, where Destiny is at the moment. No, oh, why is that? Uh, well, for starters, the, just Crucible in general is just not in a good spot. Um, cheaters are running rampant. They've said they're going to do stuff about it, they haven't. Bungie's always been very slow with updates and all that. Yeah. Like, and that's my least favourite thing about Bungie, is just how slow they are with really anything to do with Destiny. And look, I, I know it sounds like I'm expecting a lot from them, but they're a huge studio, regardless of whether they're indie now or not. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's frustrating with Destiny. It's con like, content wise, it's great. Like, I like the content. But I've done the new dungeon, like, I don't care about the loot, because in a year's time it's going to be pointless. Like, I have no sense of support here anymore. Yeah. Like, I've got my favourite guns, like, come next n come next season, um, or next expansion, which is next season. There'll be new weapons anyway, which I'll be using. There'll be a new best gun, I'll just be using. Nothing this season even matters. Um, yeah, like, you, you can argue everything I just said, it, like, definitely. Um, like, there are guns this season worth getting, there are um, but I just, I don't feel the need to play the game when I can be enjoying games that I haven't played. Like, yeah. I'm running through Witcher 3 again, like, I stopped playing on That's console because it was just broken to hell, like, my, my PS4 was just, it was, this is towards the end of the life of my PS4, like, I was constantly having to reinstall Witcher because the, the whole game would just get corrupted, there'd be problems with, like, the world generation. Yeah. So Dude. I like, just quit, quit Witcher. Did you just get two yellows as well? No, I only got. I, I literally got five purples. Oh, dude. That's it. I got nothing. two. Du I got double legendary drop. Bad spellers onto it. Bungie is like, limited by their game engine, permission models, and all the interlocking pieces. So much stuff breaks when they change something. They have a kind of rough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, there's definitely a huge argument to be made for Bungie doing a third game, as much as no one wants it. Um, yeah. You're right. The engine is definitely outdated. I wouldn't even say outdated. It just needs. It, they, it just needs more changes, I guess. But well, hopefully mean, removing all the planets, all the, the planets that are going to get wiped by the darkness or whatever. That's, that's not going to that's not going to solve the problem of it being hard to work with. Well, that's that's just going to reduce the amount in the game. And yes, they have said that um, the more things that are in the game, uh, the more problems they that can happen. Yeah. Um, but then again, that's all down to the engine as well. Yeah. Like whoever just said that in the chat, like they're hundred percent on the board. Like, yeah, it's... dude, that's bad speller. Good streamer. Yeah, he knows what he's on about. That's cool. Oh, it's got shy out the sky. I am need there. to drop down. <laughs> but look, I love Destiny, always will. Um uh, it's one of those games that I've invested too much to not love it. Yeah. <laughs> like um almost uh, changed that game, as was <laughs> as I imagine most like people who are really into the game are. I guess people who still play WoW, you could say the same, even though that yeah. been out much longer than Bungie. Uh, uh, than You're in the Destiny clear, 2. I, think. Like, I reckon close. Destiny 2 will go for a long time. Yeah, no, well, they just they just stretched, to stretched out to what, 20, 2022? All the announcements? Yes. Uh, but that can change. Like, I, I took that, like, yes, that's yeah, exciting, but I took it with a grand slam. Like, yeah, sure. Like, you have no idea what can happen in a year from now. Yeah, like, that's true. Uh, I'm happy they showed it off, but at the same time, I was kind of stupid to show it off. I don't know, there was, there's no so logical the reason why they the would, destroyer. besides proving they're committed to the game, but still, that's not proof they're committed to the game, it's just saying, oh, we're going to do this. I'd rather them focus on like, doing, oh, I think I just got a legendary. Dude, I just got another one! I think you're also a higher power level than me, so that power level definitely affects it. I'm um, stoked! Oh yeah, I got a legendary. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. 
Um, but yeah, look, there's, there's a lot of work to be done in Destiny 2. It's one of those games that can always keep improving mechanic-wise. Like, I love the Child of Light mechanic in Destiny 2. It's I am, such a uh, cool... Yeah, I'm uh, avoiding it. <laughs> yeah, it's... it's... Why is that? Because it's too complicated for the amount that I play and what I do when I play. I can't... Yeah. Uh, I can't that's, spend see, that's time another doing point. that. That's another point I'll bring up. The armor system in the game is shit. There's no yeah. two ways about it. Armor system is shit. You're constantly having to switch out armor. I, that's the thing. Is, the thing is, I don't have a solution to that. Usually I have like a suggestion or solution. I don't. Like, yeah. The only thing I can really recommend Bungie doing is removing the cost of infusing. No, not, not, not so much infusing, but um, uh, slotting stuff. Because it always takes glimmer. Like It always takes... Not, not so much material, but just glimmer. And yeah. like, that's not a problem. Like glimmer's done, doesn't. Like you go to spider, get more glimmer. You go out and kill enemies, you get a thousand glimmer. Like no problem. Mm. The currency is not a problem, but infusing is a pain in the ass. And constantly like not knowing. Like I mean, now now what I do is I've got a crucible set. I've got a set for one build, a set for another build. And the way I differentiate them is I put a ornament. I have an ornament set for each of those sets, so yep. I can just look at oh, the item yes. and be like, that's yep. my crucible set. I do problem the same. with that is, yeah. Problem with that is, like, I only like one or two sets. So I'm kind of, I'm forced yeah. to like use an extra a set that I don't like the look of. It doesn't really matter because when I'm in Crucible, I don't give a shit what I look like. Yeah. Um, I see some funky people in Crucible as well. So I care about cool. what I look like in Crucible. I I put my uh, an, my an all forge break or whatever power. it's called. Yeah, like all power to you for that. Um, <laughs> all right, man. Let's see what these legendaries are. I got the. I got a masterwork and a legendary that are the exact same thing. They're both. I got unending battle, close power close seventy-five. Close. I got as a automatic pistol. Oh, I got a frost grenade. Hitting an enemy increases melee damage by two hundred and seventy percent for ten seconds. Whew. What's this last one? Need some water. Did I have to love water? Ultimate meter no. refills instantly when armor is critically damaged can occur once every 120 seconds. I'm going to be so getting, good. Dude, I'm going to be getting a lot of ultimate because my yeah, armor goes. That's sick. that's sick. What was yours? Sorry. I got. I essentially got what I already have, but weaker. So I'm kind of annoyed. Like oh. I already ha I already had a legendary melee. Oh, okay. I got the same legendary melee, but weaker. So dude. Like, Bad Speller just said that it was an interceptor part that I got that was the crazy good one. Ah! Uh, <laughs> Damn. Sad. Yep. Sad. Alright, let's get back to Portarsis and have a look at this stuff, shall we? Oh, Dude, that's streamer loot, is what that is. There is currently a Twitch thing going on with Destiny as well. It's a new Twitch shader. If you're like Twitch, yeah. Player. If you uh, gift two subs to a streamer that has the um, has the overlay active. Oh, okay. I saw uh, Glad got to forty eight thousand subs. Oh wow! I think he has. I think um, he almost has the most amount of subs on Twitch as a Destiny streamer. Like that's crazy. That's so cool. Yeah. yeah. Good on him. It's a good community. These kind of games, like Destiny, Anthem, Division, I love the kind of community that surrounds these games. Oh, some of these uh, graphics look really good with my armor set. Dude, it's 9.29. Store's about to reset. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, Hell yeah. Crap, I need to check the store. And I realize I already have checked the store. Hopefully, we don't get what happened last week. That oh, sucked. Yeah, oh, yep. Yeah. New items have reset, but it's... Oh, they're in? So it's still the same thing as last week, I think. Oh, uh, no. It took like an hour. I don't want weapons. I want components. Combat aura is only usable with Interceptor. Otherwise, you only need to benefit one inscription. Damn. Nice, yep. Get me some legendary pieces. Yeah, it's reset. It's reset. All right, let's go in. Hit that up. Got some components. Come on, you bastard. Got a new sniper rifle. That's cool. 
Rangers, Storm, Colossus, and Planet Central. Alright, let's get in this store before I mess around with all this. Okay. Uh, Chemical Burn <laughs> is one of the coolest and worst wraps I've ever seen. Dude, tactical camo. That's my whole thing. That's my whole yeah. branding. Is tactical camo, and there's a tactical camo shader. I'll be That's getting good. that. Spending real money on that. Oh, the uh. What, the... what else we got in the store? Here's the store update for you, Anthemers. Oh no. Oh, okay. All right. The Fragmenter armor pack is back. Dude, do you know how long I had to wait for this to come in for Ranger? Now it's been in like twice very quickly. How long? Um, Interceptor. Let's go to the crafting stuff. Extended Sniper Magazine. Truth yeah. of Tarsus. I'll grab that. Yeah, it's Legendary Sniper. It looks pretty cool. It's a uh, single high damage target thing. Oh my goodness, it's very strong. I only got it. It's a masterwork. Wait, Mike was legendary. What? What is going on there? Don't know. Yo, bad speller. Isn't all this stuff supposed to be legendary? This one's legendary. All right. That's bizarre. Might as well grab this. Got the money. Snipers aren't good, not your thing. Um, well, if I ever choose to use them, I've got the thing for it. Got a cool SMG and I'm gonna try a legendary machine pistol. Alright, I'm gonna What's spend it? some real money to get this camo fabric. Not a good store this week, not the best. Oh no, I'm gonna use in-game money. Sweet, I feel good about that. Yeah, nice. Okay, back to the forge. Let's get this thing looking pretty. Uh, because it's already hot as... You know what? It would look better with my old setup. It probably won't even fit with this. Alright, let's go to the paint. Let's go hard in the paint. Primary soft. And these banshee looks so cool. I cannot even tell. Secondary soft. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, that does actually look sick. That matches the bone stuff pretty well. Primary soft. Why can't I even tell? Is it because of the color? Oh, there's two colors. You can choose both colors. Oh, hell yeah. So it's a darker gray. Okay. Yep. Oh, it goes on the stuff under the mask. Yeah, I'm down with that. Tactical camo. Sick. I'm gonna try and make like a stealth storm suit where it's just all black or something. I just went, ta I went hard in the tactical camo paint. Sweet. All right, I love it. Back to the loadout, what do we got? Oh no, there you go, now it's a legendary. All right, everyone watching the stream saw that it did not drop as a legendary. One shot. Yeah, I'm not even going to try it. There. Get rid of this one. Get rid of this one. Do not want to be using this. 
came out as a mask work. It did. How weird was that? I don't like the razor wing. It makes my level look nice, but I don't actually like it. I love the flash fire. Okay. I think I'll keep using the one I'm using. Taking a break from F1. Dude, how's it going? How's the uh, Colton racing team going over there on F1 that came out today? Did you like racing games, Sol? Uh, is F1 out? Came out today. Talk, like F1 2020? Yeah, came out today. Shane in the chat's been look, waiting for it for weeks. Um, I thought it came out 10th. But maybe is it? Yeah, it comes out 10th of July in Australia. Ah, uh, damn. Oh, well, I'm glad that it's not something that was on my radar then, because I'd be super disappointed. Um, I'm into real F1 though. Like, I'm as in like, uh, like watching F1. Oh yeah. Which uh, the the first race of the season was freaking hectic, dude. Yeah. Yeah, man. It was sick. All right, I am ready to go. I reckon we stick with GM1. To be honest, that last mission sucked. I did not enjoy playing that. Oh, really? Yeah, man. It was, it oh, was... do you know why? Because you're not using the uh, the boost. You need to be using the boost. Yeah, probably. Oh. Do you have any more materials to spend on those guardian tokens? Man, where do I check that? Yeah, what are guardian tokens as well? That's something oh, is that, that those legendary tokens? Oh. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's the um the legendary. If you look underneath your name at the top left hand corner, it will show like your currency and also uh, these little. Oh yeah, I've got tokens. five yellows. Yeah, I think that's what he's referring to. So should we go into free play and go to those uh, things? Might as well. I don't think I've got enough, but um, I don't, I don't think I've got enough materials to get them. I didn't last time. Yeah, if you go to um, uh, free play in Grandmaster 3, you, you're you guaranteed a level 80 item. Legendary. Okay. Alright, I'm um, just wondering where to drop. Oh, we can just fast travel yeah. to one of them once we're in. Grandmaster 3. I love that laugh. Buy some universal components. Alright, back to the store. Bad Speller, I'm going to need you to talk me through this. This is something I've been uh, meaning to understand. Because I always see these things, but don't know what they do. So we go into crafting. No, it's not these. By universes with the guardian tokens, okay. Oh, how do you do that? That's all I don't know. Replay here, GM3. All right, dude, ready up and let's go. Let's get out there. So this is something I've never done. You get them from the tomb of Evenia. Let's go hit that up. Oh yeah. So I reckon have to go back and buy more um, materials as well if we don't have any materials for it. Mm. Oh dude, my suit looks so good with that camo. Alright, I'm stoked. Yeah, I think the uh the next games that I'm gonna do a let's play YouTube video of will be outward. That's installed and ready. Maybe Dauntless. What else have I got that I haven't played yet? I've got a bunch of games. I haven't given a shot yet. World War Z. That's a good one to keep in the theme of uh, being terrified. Dude, World War Z is freaking sick. Yeah. Like the whole 
zombie swarm. It's probably the one of the coolest um, zombie things I've ever seen in like a zombie game. Okay, I gotta see that. Well, I've I've got it and it's installed. So yeah, dude, definitely worth a try. Uh, the one mission I did was in like a uh, like a shopping mall, and we were at the staircase, and all the zombies come smashing through the uh, the opening of it, like through the big glass doors, and it was really cool. Yeah, see, it, it sounds cool. cool, but it doesn't sound like I'm gonna have fun. <laughs> no, yeah, probably not. But it might get me a hit video. And what's is mental it health? Your yeah, or I'm your looking for it. Neil. This is the very bottom. I'm looking for this tome. It's right under the starting spawn point. Ah. Fast travel. Let's go. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, I actually can. Fire. Alright, so bad speller, this is the best way to do it, is to go to this oh. masterwork one, or... What yeah, that's it, I just got a legendary item, yeah. Oh, did you? Okay. Yeah, so I just need 99 more masterwork embers and I can get another one. I've got heaps of the other I've only got 95 out of 100, I should have just bought 5 when I was in the store. Yeah, that's fine, we can just go back. Can we just go to the store from here? How oh, can you? Nope. No. Ah. Oh. Let's be on. But I'll be able to get my legendary item. Alright, so we've got to go back to Tarsus. Get a few more things. Or can I... If I break down some... Uh, if I break down stuff that I've got, does that turn it into masterwork things? You have to delete masterwork items. You buy them from the store, though. Like yeah, but I, back to the masterwork embers are useless to you once you start getting legendaries. Okay. Yeah. There you go. I think I've got a ton that I'm not using already. Like, I don't use any masterwork work weapons at all. I like this sniper. Let's trash that. There you go. Two masterwork work embers. All right. Going to destroy some stuff. I don't care about any of this. Don't even care if it's good. Don't even want to see if it's good. And if you deconstruct masterworks, they give you embers. That should be five easy embers. All right. I think I should have enough now. Hey, dude, calm down. There's a statue, buddy. I'm just testing the gun out. Uh huh. <laughs> All right. Sweet. So did you just get a new gun, or do we have to go back to Tarsus to get the gun? We'll go back to find out. It's, good. It's, it's not guaranteed to be a gun, by the way. Oh yeah, the, the piece. Alright. Alright, let's go. Oh dude, I forgot about the ground dodge. Are we going to go back to Port Tarsus? Let's or? do that, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I can from in here. Yeah, just go escape map. And I'm already out. Ah, oh, that works too. Ah, right, here we go. Back to Tarsus. Let's get this thing. All your jets. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude. YouTube today with the algorithm. So I uploaded the gameplay video and then because um, it's a normal upload day, I was kind of like, oh, this might upset some people because it's not a music reaction, which is what people are subscribed for. So then I uploaded a, a music reaction like two or three hours later and I've never had a video go so slow at the start ever. I think the algorithm was just like, no, 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 you can't upload two completely different videos in one day, you idiot. What are you thinking? Um, but then oh, no. later on it started picking up and I think now it's going really well. And it is a emergency power. Isn't that what I just got? Damn. Ooh. 
It said special arms magazine. Nice. I need components. That's what I'm severely lacking. So are we going to Tarsus or are we going? For Tarsus, you can buy some nice work things if you can afford a hundred. I don't know how much a hundred costs. I don't know. I kind of want to get back out there and do a mission. Oh yeah, we do that as well. Right. Um, I'm, I'm easy. I'm just gonna equip this item and then uh, right. we'll go straight back out. Forge. Oh my goodness. All right, to the forge. Can I use that component that I just got? Yeah, it's just a better one than I'm using. Sweet. I really need a support item in my blast seal, and then I'll be fully legendary. Just gonna delete these items as well. Might as well while I'm here. Okay. Oh, I have so many. Uh, this one is 80 though. You should be able to replace one you're already using. Have the highest gear. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And if I didn't use this grenade one and instead used my uh, sniper rifle component, that's silly. I'm also going to lower my gear score so I can use this. Oh, wait, what about just an assault rifle? A single masterwork emma costs 500 coins and you only can buy one at a time. See, I'm definitely not buying those. Alright. I'm buying no. No thanks. Yeah, I'm, I'm keen to go whenever. Alright, let's get out of there. Make some, oh, we're doing uh, GM1, right? GM1 for sure. And let's do a purple mission contract hazard pay. Yeah, sure. Just keep in mind, obviously, lower difficulty, you don't get as much loot or as good of loot. Yeah, man, but I just really want to enjoy it. <laughs> Enough. Would definitely replace Giant Slayer with the Snipe one. All right, I'll do that as soon as we're in. So let me know when you are ready. We'll smash it. We're ready me up, and then as soon as you're ready, you're done. Sweet. Sweet, sweet. Typical. How many videos have got like a shit ton of views? Yeah, man, I've, I've done some good stuff. <laughs> I've done some all right stuff. The thing is, what I've realized is the quality of my video is almost irrelevant. Yeah. People will watch a video because it's about a topic that they already want to see and it has a good title and thumbnail. And if it has a high amount of views, that will get it more views. Because if it's got a high amount of views, people look at it and go, oh, that must be a good video because it's got a lot of views. So it's like the video itself, the importance of the video and how the quality of the video is, is like not as important as the thumbnail. Like your video could be trash, but you've got the best thumbnail ever. You've got the best heading ever. And because of that, lots of people click on it. So then it's got a lot of views and then more people click on it because it's got a lot of views. So, yeah. um... I, you know, I try to make great videos, but some of the best videos I've got might have a hundred views and then one that I woke up and didn't care about, you know, and just kind of like pushed out might get 40,000. It's just like, because, it's you know, crazy. that's the song that people want to search for and want to see reactions to. So I, uh, yeah. What is the Prevail video you did on a 63k views, which is insane. Dude. Yeah, dude. And videos have like 200 views. Yeah, it's... It, it was uh, very humbling early on to realize because you know it started going well and I was like oh wow I must be great and then it's like no I'm not great <laughs> people want to see certain videos about certain things and they go and look for them so I just uh, it did it, it was really good for my creative process though because it's like I'm going to do videos that I like and do them as well as I can and then if they get a lot of good views, I'm not going to pat myself on the back and go, that's because I'm great. I'm going to go, oh, well, that's lucky that people want to see that. And then if they go terrible, I'm not going to put myself down. I'm just going to be like, oh, you know, too bad that that's not a video that people are searching for. Taurus. Outlaw should not have Taurus. You fix that. You got it. Oh, you up there. I'm gonna hide and switch up some stuff. Scratch my nose. Forge. 
I'm in the forge, so. Good. Clear out the outlaws who still want to fight. Understood. This machine pistol is very good. Mark. All right, so giant slayer. Up to the sniper rifle one. Sweet. Samurai Rock JP. Hey guys. Yeah, dude, I am at my best in this game when the game is slightly easier so that I can just like hang out, chat, look at the chat, read stuff, talk to you, and not be like ultra concentrating and dying and All clear. hating down. it. That's why I don't play the Crucible on stream. Quick. <laughs> Crucible is like my favorite thing in Destiny, but if I was doing a Destiny stream, there's no way I'd do Crucible right now. Damn, Sentinels are in the bind. Find them. I'll see what I can do. I'm trying to think of what else has happened to me this week. Sentinels in trouble. Um, Let's get to work, freelancer. Uh -huh. Today, okay. I had to giggle at myself because I've been telling every man and his dog and every lady and their dog, I guess. Uh, I've been telling everyone about my artificial sweetener story. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, and then last night, you know, I stayed up super late, way later than I should have doing that yes. missed survival video and editing. Oh, dude, this guy's getting excited. It's like shacks over here. Yeah. But I stayed up way too late doing that. And I was sitting while I did that. And then all day today, back pain. And I was like, oh, you know what else I didn't do on the weekend, apart from not have sweetener? Sit down. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Dude, it might not be at all. I might have just given away over a hundred bucks worth of protein stuff to my cousin for no reason. But I guess the good thing about that is he's going to be a future NBA star. Dude, no, I got me a chuckle for sure. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah. It just, it just like it all hit me that morning. I was like, oh my god googling like sitting there about to make my coffee and go wait my back doesn't hurt anymore it's been hurting for months what do i not do on a weekend that i do during the week artificial sweetener and then googling equal and back pain and getting a thousand results of people saying equal causes back pain and inflammation and being like holy crap i've fixed it i found the cause and i've fixed it and then having is. a week without any of it no pain all week either but then also being at my standing desk and then one late night of sitting down and then the pain is back. It's like, oh, okay. All right, big guy. Yeah, that's a perfect example of the correlation doesn't... Yeah, man. I am no... It's also Facebook research. That's a Facebook research in a nutshell. Yeah. <laughs> I, I never claim to be a scientist, but unfortunately <laughs> I do have a platform that I abuse with my beliefs. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I don't believe in too many stupid things. Yeah, he, he always became an anti artificial sweetener. Yeah, man. Which, the, the best part about all of this is now I can dig into that uh, sugar free Mountain Dew carton that I've got in the fridge in the garage. I'm gonna have the best time. Because the first thing that gave me a doubt about my uh, brilliance yeah. was I was in the shops and I was like, oh, you know, now that I'm not having any sucralose, maybe I'll go back on energy drinks like as a treat because there's so many things I can't have now. So that's something I can have. And I picked up all the drinks that I've been drinking one a day for 10 years, like Monster and Rockstar and Red Bull and whatever 
and every single one of them had sucralose. And I was like, wait a second. Why is it that I've been drinking these non-stop for years and years and years and never had any problems? And then all of a sudden, these other products would give me these problems. So then it was, yeah, I was kind of already having little doubts and being like, I just don't want to admit it because that would be embarrassing. But then when, you know, when you get real evidence, it's like, oh no. Yeah. And if you can't change your mind and admit you're wrong, then no one's going to believe you when you say you're right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, Master over there. Where's this chest at? My oh, soul's on it. I got three muscle work from that. Nice, man. Not really, it's useless, but I guess I get muscle work. Cool. Yeah, but you can break them down and use them at that temple. <laughs> God, my armor looks sick. So good. So yeah, for those that are just stumbling across me right now on stream, uh, I am a Twitch streamer on Tuesday nights, but through the week I am a YouTuber. Uh, I do music reaction videos at least two a week, but I try to do one every weekday. But I, do, I guarantee a Monday and a Friday because um, it just works with my schedule. But I really do try to get one up a day. And last night I stayed up very late doing my first ever Let's Play. I uploaded that today. So that is Rogan Josh playing Mist Survival. Uh, and you'll see a photo of me pulling a dumb face uh, and explaining that I've got a fear of zombies irrational phobia on the thumbnail and the link to that is down in the channel description if you, you oh yeah you can see my channel description on phone or on pc what's the game called again Mi missed survival and it's 12 bucks 50. Um, i'm not gonna buy it ah. i was yeah, so I've, I've had it on my um my radar on my wish list for months and then event like I was just kind of like I had the idea of doing the let's play but I was also just like this is what I've been looking for like this is the game that I've wanted for so long because I, I love the idea of games like DayZ but I don't want to play PvP in those games and this is a single player zombie survival game mm. it's so far up my alley I can taste it would you so. would you ever consider streaming it um only if I wasn't making a video out of it. Yeah, I reckon you should give it a go streaming. Maybe. There's not a lot of people on Twitch doing it. The problem is... There's not a lot of people on Twitch streaming it, but there's not a lot of people following it. Yeah. So the reason the anthem's so discoverable is because it's got 300,000 people following it. Uh, and six okay. people at a time streaming it. Yeah. Whereas I did a, oh my god, I haven't spoken about it at all. I had my two-year stream anniversary on Monday. Wait, was that yesterday? No, it was Sunday. It was on Sunday. Yeah. My two-year stream anniversary because uh, Twitch keeps all of your analytics. And um, it I can go back and see my first stream and all the details of it. And uh, yeah, I was like, holy crap, that's two years ago. So I have Ooh. now been a Twitch streamer for two years. I was actually very sad I missed that because I was out at the time. And oh. I got the notification for it and I was like, oh, damn. That's all good. The funny thing about it, the reason I was going to bring it up, the reason that it kind of popped back into my head is I did a Destiny stream because I didn't want anyone that streams in, uh, tunes in on Tuesdays and follows my Anthem gameplay to miss out on me hitting max level or whatever may have happened, who knows. And uh, when I'm not playing Anthem on stream, I play Destiny, as you know. And I um, was playing Destiny and not many people tuned in. <laughs> but oh, I no. did say a few times uh, that stream wasn't for streaming. That stream was for me so that when I look back, like how I just looked back on, you know, to see what my first stream was, when I look back through my streams, I have a stream called Two Year Anniversary, and I can go back mm -hmm. and listen to me on my two hundred, you know, my two year anniversary stream, talking about my streaming so far and everything I've learnt and how it's all gone. Yeah, yeah. So, because it all all started with my mate 
that was already into streaming. And then when I found out through him what Twitch was, it's when Ninja was at his peak to like 200,000 people per stream watching. Fortnite was at its absolute peak. And PUBG was huge. Disrespect was just came back. And it was just everything was popping off. So I got caught up in the excitement and I ran out, got that Xbox One with the Kinect, started streaming. My internet was terrible. It took me two months before I actually watched one of my streams back and I realized that you couldn't watch my stream uh, because it was so pixelated and buggy because my internet was so bad. So I had been streaming for two months. Uh, you know, I'm watching my numbers and posting on Instagram and telling my friends to watch. Uh, and that's also when I realized that my friends obviously weren't watching my stream. Because <laughs> the stream was unwatchable. Oh, yeah. But, um, but yeah, and then everything I learned from there. And then uh, meeting Kipper at the Christmas party, buying my PlayStation, streaming from PlayStation, using my phone's internet to get good quality. Until this year, getting NBN and streaming Anthem from PC. Yeah, I remember when you used to, like, uh, hotspot. Yeah, man. That was all last year. So 2018 was the year of Xbox, bad internet, PUBG, Fortnite, Halo, Call of Duty World War II, like variety streams. 2019 was a full year of PS4, Destiny 2 streaming with my phone hotspot. And then 2020 so far has been a almost full year. We had that month where we played Division. But apart from that, we've been playing anthem for uh, seven months now what are we up to today oh dude thank you so much bad speller just said i got something definitely worth watching i really appreciate that man it's come a long way the thing that i am battling with right now actually i i, I need people's opinions i am i'm battling with do i commit to green screen or do i commit to this so this setup or the green screen setup that I've been doing for the last couple of weeks. Um, if I do commit to the green screen setup, I'm going to invest in a proper green screen and learn how to use it and, and go all out on that. Um, but yeah, and then uh, I think I, I, I think I might transition my reaction videos to using a green screen as well, so that I've just got the one setup that works both ways. Because the problem that I've had the last couple of weeks is switching between green screen for streams and then regular camera for reaction videos and having to change my setup. So I, I think I think the way to look at it is what what do you enjoy more? I don't know, that's the thing. I don't know. They're both they're both good in different ways. I feel like I with my green screen I don't have there's a certain thing that I'm trying to achieve. There's a certain look and feel that I'm trying to achieve and I haven't found out how to do that yet. I haven't got that that feel yet. And the feel is going to change as well because now I'm committing to the standing desk. Um, I do have a lumbar and butt cushion coming in for my chair in the next couple of weeks. So... That might fix my sitting in a chair issues. Uh, but if not, I'm going to be a standing desk guy for the foreseeable future. And we just found out today that I'm not expected back in my office for work until at least next year. Oh, whoa. Yeah, they, they hired uh, so many new people into the office with so many people working from home that with the current restrictions, there isn't enough space in the office to have everyone back. And they took everyone's preferences as to what they want to do. And I said, I'm perfectly happy working from home. Uh, so I'm at like the very end of the, the list, no matter what. So I might be working from home for a very long time, which is great because I love it. Um, oh, you did? Yeah. Bad speller. Uh, I think you should stick with this. Gives you more grounded look. I want to put something on the wall to your stage left. Your right side, just bounce out of the look. Yeah, dude, well, I, what I'm thinking is because um, I have... I don't collect vinyl. I have a very small, uh, a very small collection of about twelve that are just my favorite favorite albums. And I was thinking of putting nine of them in like a grid on this wall. I just need to get the right kind of frames and have them spaced out. I think it'll look cool. And then 
The other beautiful thing about that is I can switch them out. So if I did get new records, uh, I can put different artworks in there so I can change it as I go. So that is something I've been planning for a little while. You know what? Yeah, that's if I, I'll either spend some money and get a proper green screen or I'll spend some money and get the frames and mount the vinyl. But um, yeah, no, I do really appreciate that. Yeah, I 100% agree, agree with him. Like, having something on that wall there would be really cool to just keep your camera because I, I agree. It looks... It just... It feels more authentic. Like, green screen is cool, but in my opinion, it's very like, gimmicky. Yeah, well, I'm just... I'll put it... I'll just put it out there and be transparent. The feel that I am trying to emulate is the old feeling of King Gathalian streams. I used to love when Goth was on Twitch and he had his green screen. It was something about the way he sat, like he's very laid back. His mic was coming in from, from this side, kind of sitting here. It had a very in the studio look. He had a very good camera angle and it just had such a, he felt like he was in a great space, but then he was just in like an office room, you know, but something about the angle and how he sat and everything about it just had this great feel that I used to love watching. I still watch him, but I, um, he's on Facebook gaming now. I don't actually like his new uh, setup. He's got this like, you know, super expensive, crazy best gaming room of all time. And he wants to show it in his streams, but I don't actually like how it looks on, on stream. I prefer his old green screen, which he would hate to hear. But I really wanted to capture the feeling of his old streams. But um, I don't think that, especially when I'm standing up and with my setup, I don't think it's going to go that way. Give yourself yeah. something you can be happy with in the room, even for when you're not streaming. If you're a fan of Goth, go check out Probro. Change the setups. All right. Sorry, sorry to uh, interrupt, but I think I go. might actually jump off, dude. Yeah, dude, I'm finishing up. Yeah, Nate, I might just want to play Valorant. He's, uh, he's thirsty for that, for that Valorant. Nice. Uh, well, dude... Thank you so much for joining. So that's Soul Hinder, everybody. He is out for the night. And I did just want to say that the reason that I am not on a green screen right now is from your feedback last week. I do. And that's why I didn't do the green screen in the uh, Let's Play because I value your feedback a lot. Obviously, you're half of my stream. Um, <laughs> and when you said that, I, I really was like, oh, awesome. Like, that's that's great feedback. So thanks. Yeah. I, heaps. Yeah, yeah I, I personally think the camera does look better. It's like a more authentic, like you said, and um, it, like uh, Bad Speller said, it's like more grounded. It, it really, it shows your, oh, this is not an insult, but it shows like you're a casual streamer. You're not yeah, like, man. super into it. You don't have freaking posters of yourself on the wall, even though I don't I don't know if there's actually Twitch streamers out there who do that. I doubt there is because that's very, uh, uh, it's a word for that, but yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I think camera looks good. But look, if you feel like you want to try doing green screen, by all means, like fiddle around with it. Like it's 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 cool. Green screens are cool. Well, you can I, do like yeah. white beach behind you for or, <laughs> if you want. Like, it's nah. good. Go nut. I fiddled with it, but I, you know, I didn't spend any money on it. I already had a cheap green screen, so I just like you know yeah. put up a string on the you know between two walls and then clipped it on there and it was dodgy. If I was gonna go down that route, I would invest in like a $300 green screen, proper lighting. I'd do it, I'd completely change everything, but it's nice to know that uh, that this is a good way to go because this is how I got, you know, that's what I did when I got this yeah. camera and this lighting set up. But uh, Ian Richards has said, can you video stream from Twitch to Xbox? Ian, the person that just wrote straight after you, a bad speller, is a Anthem streamer that streams natively from the Xbox One X to twitch and it's uh one of the best quality console native streams that you'll ever see so i would go to his channel uh click on him go to his channel have a look at his videos and you'll see it right there uh you can see how they evolve into something more organic and grounded moving from green screen into the office background setup uh, if you have a heavily produced stream green screen is great but if you're just hanging out and playing games what you have right now works very well awesome thank you very much man i also i i had green screen for a long time uh when i was streaming on playstation oh dude soul sorry man i will let you go <laughs> dude. <laughs> yeah i was just waiting for finish so i could say like last goodbyes all right man uh enjoy the rest of the stream and i'll uh, catch you catch you next week all right man i'll talk to you through the week all right, see you man see you dude oh good dude thank you so much for dropping in i'm just wrapping my stream up but i stream so right now it is 10 I started at 8, so I've been streaming for the last two hours, so I don't know what time that is where you are, 
but I stream at this time every week. Ah, oh, come on, dude. Um, and Bad Speller uh, streams at a completely different time to me, so that's an even better reason for me to, to promote his stream. But I watch him while I'm working from home, uh, and he's super entertaining, very good streamer, and a native Xbox streamer. So, and should definitely get a sponsorship from Turtle Beach. 120 in the UK? Ah, oh, sweet. All right, man, so from 11.20 or 11.10? I don't know. Uh, two hours and 10 minutes ago every week uh, is when I stream. What day is it in the UK? Is it Because it is 10 p.m. on a Tuesday here. So I'm guessing it would be 1.20 on a Monday there. I should change to just chatting or something. But yeah, one of the other things about my stream is that I'm going to... Uh, be standing from now on yeah oh no it's still tuesday oh of course yeah it's just behind a little bit um in time yeah so i'll be using this as a standing desk um because i've just i've developed back issues from working at home and being in my chair all day and uh, not getting out and getting exercise that i used to get unfortunately i think it's um yeah something that happens i guess office work life yeah, I am wrapping up for the stream. Thank you everyone so much uh, for tuning in. As I've said a few times, my YouTube link is down below in on my Twitch page, um, Rogan Josh on YouTube. And that is where I post music reaction videos and I've just started branching out into gameplay. Oh, dude, thank you so much for the follow, Enrico. You're a legend. Ah, uh, Shane, thanks so much, man. I'll talk to you uh, through the week um, and I'll have videos going up this week on YouTube as well. But yeah, so now I'm doing gameplay videos on YouTube. I'm doing Let's Plays. Uh, I've started a new series that I've called Episode 1s. Uh, and the idea is I try a new game every episode. And it's, so it's like Episode 1, but then there's never an Episode 2. So it's an ep Episode 1s on YouTube. Uh, my first one just went up for uh, Miss Survival. And um, I'm really proud of it. It's the most editing I've done on a video. And it's a pretty cohesive, cool video. And it uh, works really well because I'm terrified of zombies and it's a zombie game. So um, you can see me frozen with fear, stuck in a barn, too scared to leave because there's zombies outside. I was actually stuck in that barn for 45 minutes of real time, but I cut it down to like three minutes in there. But I was, I was scared to death, too scared to leave the barn in the game. Um, but yeah, my YouTube reaction videos are going really well. I love doing that. I was in a band for somewhere between eight and 10 years. We did very well. We used to tour, but then uh, me, the guitarist and the drummer all wanted to get married, settle down and we couldn't tour as much anymore. So we unfortunately left, but we had a big comeback show last year, but then all of this happened. So everything's back on hiatus, but um, looking forward to doing more music with the boys at some point. The singer moved to Melbourne as well, Timmy, but he is moving back to Adelaide, which is very exciting. I love you if you're out there, Timmy come back bring Shayla got to roll out have a good night thank you so much for being here bad speller man I'll catch you through the week sounds like me with Resident Evil and PV oh dude I wouldn't be able to do it I would not be able to do it I'd be terrified all right well I'm out for the uh for this week but uh thank you guys so much for being here tonight I had an amazing stream uh <laughs> my javelin's looking ridiculously cool I love it Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Wanted to see my javelin. Oh no, I pressed the right button. Uh, I see what I did. Look at that. Oh. I'm rocking out with him. It's just me. That's a sick javelin is what that is. Alright. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks so much. Uh, jump down below. Follow me on YouTube. I've got a ton of videos out and they're going to keep going up this week. And Bad Speller in the chat and uh, O'Neill that was in earlier, both great Anthem streamers. I'm going to uh, find someone to raid. I should have done that earlier. Who's on? Sloth's on. All right, we're going to go see Slothy. Say hi to him. Tell him I sent you. I think he's playing Valorant. He's a great dude. Thank you guys so much. See you next week. See ya.
position. Josh, thank you very much for the host and the raid. <laughs> Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Adam. I'm currently playing Persona 4. Anthem. How is Anthem, man? Like I care. Welcome in, Raiders. Always good, good on you, mate. Fantastic. Dude, this chair and 